Hey everybody, welcome. My name is David with Divi Space, and I am super excited to share with you some new features that we've added to the WP and Divi Icons Pro plugin. The WP and Divi Icons Pro plugin is an amazing plugin that adds thousands of custom designed icons into your website. But one of the top questions that we get from customers is hey, can I upload my own custom icon packs if I create them myself or if I purchase from another um, icon company? If I want to, you know, purchase some icons, can I add it to the WP and Divi Icons Pro plugin to allow me to easily insert them into my Divi website or my WordPress website seamlessly? And guess what? We've done it. We've added that feature finally, and I want to share it with you. The way that I'm going to show it to you today is I'm going to use the Divi Space Demo Zone. The Demo Zone is a place where you can try premium products for free. It Basically, you just put your email in, hit Create Demo, and it will spin up a WordPress website for 48 hours. And we'll, it will allow you to go in and test out the products. So for today's... Um, you know, tutorial, I'm going to use the WP and Divi Icons Pro plugin, but if you wanted to, you could also test out the Divi theme from Elegant Themes, which is the number one WordPress theme in the world. Come try it out for free, test out all the modules, see how powerful it is, see if it's something that you want to use. But for today's tutorial, I'm going to use the WP and Divi Icons Pro. Obviously, I put my email address in, I hit Create Demo. I've already received the email. Once you receive your email, it's going to say your demo uh, zone website is ready. Simply click the click here button and it's going to open up this instance of the WP and Divi Icons demo site. Well, in this demo site, we've got four uh, pre-designed templates with icons that you can come in, edit, take a look at the pages, how they're built. Uh, swap out icons, see how easy it is, and see all of the icons that are in the library. We've created four demo pages, three of them with the Divi theme and one with Gutenberg. Today we're going to use two of these pages. We're going to use Demo 2 and we're going to use the Gutenberg demo to show you how easily it is to upload your own custom icons into WP and Divi Icons Pro and then add them or change them out with the icons that are on these demo pages. So here is the page that we will be using. You'll notice these beautiful multicolored icons already in the page. We're going to go ahead and just swap a few of these out once we've uploaded our custom icon packs to the plugin. And we're also going to use this Gutenberg page that we've designed. It's a, it's a photography page. It's got uh, some nice icon line icons in here as well. We're going to swap these out and show you how easily it's done in Gutenberg as well. Now the way that we do this is you're going to want to come over here to the back end of the WordPress website that was created. Go to the Divi tab on the left and select WP and Divi icons. First of all, you're going to notice if you click on the performance tab, this is going to allow you to choose, select and choose which plugins you want to load on the website. So if you know, for example, you're only going to use the multicolored icons, you can simply select only the multicolor icons, and then you can deselect all of the rest of these, and they won't load on the page, so your pages load insanely fast. If you want to keep them all so they'll all load so that you can go through them, you can do that as well. But today's tutorial, we're going to focus on this tab, the Custom Icons tab. This is where you're going to be able to upload custom icons to your WordPress or Divi website. And the way that we do this, there's two ways to do it. One of them is to head over to Fontello.com, which is a website, an icon website, which allows you to upload your custom icon packs via SVG. So I have some custom designed icons, these here in this folder that I'm going to upload to the Fontello website, but I'm not only going to use these nine icons here that are custom SVGs that we've created, Fontello will also allow you to choose <clears throat> any of the icons in their library as well, and then you can download them and upload them into the plugin. So I'm going to walk you through that right now. So let's go back over to this folder here. 
Let's go ahead and select all of these icons. We're going to go ahead and drag them over to here. And you'll notice that the nine icons are here. Now you need to select them. So you can individually select them one at a time. Or you can simply left click and drag. And it's going to select them all at once. And that's just an easier way to do it. Now you've got your custom icons selected. But you can also choose, like I said, from any of the Foncello's library. So if you like the happy face, for example, and the wink emoji and the sad face, and you want to add that to make it uh, 12 icons, you simply hit download web font, and it's going to generate a zip file into your downloads folder. So you're going to simply come back over here to the back end of your website, hit the upload new icon set, choose the file, and you'll notice the zip file here, hit open, and we're going to give this a custom name, and let's just name it Fontello, just so that we remember and know this is the Fontello icon set. So I'm going to go ahead and hit upload, and now you'll notice that these icons are here in the WP and Divi Icons Pro plugin. Simply hit save, and now we're going to come back to the front end of the website where we're going to insert these icons into the Divi Builder. So on this page, you'll notice all of these beautiful multicolored icons. Let's go ahead and enable the Visual Builder, and we'll allow that to preload. And once it's loaded, we're going to come down here to these icons, and we're going to show you how easy this is. So you're going to go ahead and select the Settings button here, scroll down to the image and the icon, and you'll notice that the icon type obviously is the multicolored icons. We're going to want to change this to a single colored icon. And then we're going to want to change this to a single colored icon. And then we're going to want to filter this by the Fontello set that we uploaded, which is only going to be those 12. These are the 12 custom icons that you uploaded. So let's go ahead and change this one to the truck, for example. And let's say we want to style this. Let's head on over to the design tab select the image and the icon and if we want to make it red let me see if I can scale this to where you can see it easier and I'll put this at the top over here and you'll notice you can choose your colors eh, kinda like the orange let's go with the orange let's scroll down a little bit and we're going to adjust the width of this icon as well so let's go ahead and make it 50 px just for fun and kind of bring this down. I guess I could have typed in 50px and it might have been faster. So now I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to come over here to this one. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to come down here to image and icon. And we're going to change, select single color icon. And filter it to the Fontello set that we just uploaded. And let's, let's give it the happy face because you know what? Being able to upload custom icons to the WP and Divi Icon Pro plugin makes me happy. So let's go ahead and select the color. Let's go ahead and make this one blue. And let's change this to 50px as well so that it matches the other one. And hit save. And there you go. You've got custom icons that we've uploaded to the Fontello website. We uploaded it into WP and Divi Icons Pro. Okay, now remember I told you that there are two ways to upload custom font icons to your website. The first was Fontello, which we went through. I'm going to deselect the Fontello. I'm going to hit save so that it doesn't load these icons. And the second way that you can do this is to use icomoon.io. It's an app, a web app that you can upload custom icons to, download a zip file, and upload it to the plugin. So we're going to simply hit import icons. I'm going to head over to my desktop and I'm going to select all of these icons that I have, custom SVGs. I'm going to hit open, hit left click and drag to select them all and I'm going to simply just generate these fonts without selecting any of the other ones. And hit generate font and then it's going to give me the ability to download it, which is what I just did. So we're going to head back over to the WP and Divi Icons uh, plugin dashboard. 
to the custom icons and we're going to upload this new set and we're going to call this set the Ico Moon set. We're going to choose the file which went into the downloads and here it is and we're going to hit upload. And now you'll notice we've got two sets in here, Fontello and Ico Moon. I kind of wish I would have used totally different icons so you could see, but trust me, it works with, with, with both sets. Simply hit save, and now I'm going to show you how easy it is to change the icons on the Gutenberg with the WP and Divi icons. So again, this site was designed as a photography landing page, and it's got some beautiful icons in here. We're simply going to hit Edit Page, and it's going to open up the Gutenberg Editor, which you're going to scroll down and simply select the icon that you want to change. On the right toolbar here, you're going to change icon type from multicolor to single color, and your icon set that you're going to want to choose is the new one that we just uploaded, the Ico Moon. But you'll also notice that Font Fontello is not loading in here and that's because we disabled it in the dashboard. If you'll remember, you'll see that it's not checked here. So when you uncheck it and hit save, it's not preloading all of those fonts, which is really, really awesome for page speed and stuff. So let's go ahead and select Ico Moon, and we're going to get our icons in here. So I want to change that one to the um, iMac screen. Pretty simple easy to do. Now I want to change this one. Uh, select single color, go to the Ico Moon set, and let's change this to the gear, and let's just go ahead and hit update the page. We're going to preview this page, and now you'll notice that it's got the Mac and the wheel, and how easy and amazing is it to add custom icons to your WordPress website. It's pretty incredible actually. So now I want to show you one final step and that's how to remove the custom icons from your website. It's super easy. Select these, click the delete button, and hit save. And now all of a sudden your custom icons are gone. So let's go back over to our WordPress website. Let's refresh the page. And let's just hit edit page again real quick to show you that the icons are no longer there. So let me go in and you'll notice that they're missing here. So I'm going to select an icon, go to single color, and select the filtering. And you'll notice that Ico Moon and Fontello are gone. That's because they're no longer on your website. And for expedient purposes and performance, if you only use the... Um, multicolor icons, for example, or the free outline icons, go ahead and deselect all of these, you know, and only use the ones that, you know, keep the ones to preload the ones you're going to want to use for your website. That way you're not slowing your website down with other stuff the rest of the time. So you can deselect all of these, hit save, and now you'll notice all I have is the hand-drawn icons. Um, so let's reload this page. There's probably not going to be any icons loading because well, we took them all out. Um, so you'll notice that the, the website no longer has icons on the Divi site. And that's because we unchecked the box. That's how easy it is. But if we come in here and hit edit and hit select icon and we've got our sets we're only going to have the Divi icons, which are built into the theme, and then the hand-drawn icons that we just chose. So, and the hand-drawn icons are pretty dang awesome, actually. You know, and then you can design them however you want. You know, put these in. It's it's pretty freaking amazing, actually. So, I'm going to filter this set, go to the hand-drawn, because I really like the hand-drawn. And we're going to do that. So you got the two bowls there. It's that easy to select, deselect, and load the fonts with the WP and Divi Icons Pro plugin. I really hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that this has helped you um, add custom icons to any WordPress website. Take care.